You like what you see? I put on my best sleep for you. So today we're going to use the most beautiful man you've ever seen to collect resources. We're going to use those to build a workplace that hopefully doesn't create clothes. But we can create our first square on a stick. That's going to come in handy. I've always wanted one of those. Now we just need to build one little raft and we can set sail to a new island. We're already sick of the old one. This one comes with birds. We're not allowed to hurt the birds yet so we'll have to settle for a bed. But we always need sleep. I'd like to think we're battery operated and we store all the energy in our leaf. But we're so crazy productive we've already run out of resources so I need to scour the island finding them one more time. This time we're going to craft a real axe so hopefully we can cut down trees. I couldn't help but notice the chicken so we're going to make a stabbing device as well. Now we can really destroy the environment. The trees, the chickens, all life on this island will be eradicated. And I leveled up but I don't seem to have changed physically in appearance. I'm not sure what leveling does. And I leveled up again. My guess would be a little more energy. <laughs> well, I've been working hard. Time for a four second nap and then we're back to work. Hopefully murdering chickens. <laughs> we're going to hit him like a club. We're so, such a caveman. We don't even use a spear properly. Take that, poultry. You tired. Go rest. Uh, hammering chickens takes up a lot of energy, apparently. I think this is my favorite part of the game. Just watching him sleep like a statue for four seconds. That's a good night's sleep if I've ever seen one. But I think it's finally time we put our resources into this. We can eat to regenerate all the way up to that. So we're just going to sit there and uh, watch our pot cook. So now this is actually a good investment. If we hammer the chickens, we'll get our energy back once we eat the chickens. We'll make the final tool we need, the giant pickaxe. Then it's been a hard five minutes work, back to bed. We're going to need a rest if we're going to smash this rock into bits all day. This hairless man is an absolute savage in all of his actions. Oh, we need to make a better boat. We're going to bigger, better islands. This one's powered by magic. We're going to zip along to the next island and get a setup shop here. Disappointingly, this new island comes with clothes. Facial features and hair cost extra though, so we're just going to continue our uh, ecocidal rampage and destroy every bit of life on this island. But we also need to rest and that means crossing our newly built suspension bridge and putting ourselves back to this bed that somehow already exists on this island. But we'll set up the workbench and the food so we can smash more poultry into dust. To cut down the trees on this island, we need a better axe. Back across our bridge, we somehow built with three pieces of wood. To cut down the trees, we can actually cut down still. I make this look good. We're so strong, we can cut down the tree in like two chops. Okay, the cooking pot is actually asking for better wood. So we need a better axe before we can do that. And before we can use this mighty big axe of ours, we need to go to bed. Don't even have to take off my loincloth. So now that I can cut down these big trees, our cutting seal goes beyond level 5, so we're going to be an absolute god of lumberjacks. That's hopefully enough to finish this, so now we can eat those chickens and put some of our energy back. But we might need a better source of food, because that can only do so much. Although our hunting skills involve smashing the chickens as if we're holding a club. Level 6 cutting, this is strangely satisfying. Yeah, we just need a little sleep and a little food, and our energy should be back topped up absolutely full. Now we can get back to our rampage. We are one-shotting chickens now. We are so strong. Two trees at once, no problem at all. And this is good because in order to make the next boat, I need to make it out of chickens. My mortal enemy. So two of those need to die. Oh, this looks like a three for one deal. Perfect. This was such a nice island when I arrived. Now it's just a barren wasteland. But now that I've got what I wanted, we're moving on. I don't know why we don't reuse the same boat. We took one to get to that last island. I guess when your boat is made out of chickens, you have to have low expectations. 20 wood to build the next workbench and we're already done. Now we can craft a new pickaxe. Because we're obviously going to need new rocks to make the new tools to escape this island. Look at all the chickens that are here. These rocks are going to be real good for our experience. Okay, I need to borrow some of the uh, wildlife of this island. And there's our new cooking pot all ready to go. We sit down and stare at it for a second and that's considered food. I see we're going to need a lot of chickens to make the next boat again, so it's going to be extra good. This is the first time I've actually noticed I have a list of materials over here, and I'm hoping all these spaces for new materials, new and better materials, so we can make new and better tools on better islands. That's definitely new. What does it take to murder you? Better spear. That sounds like just the kind of thing I would like to make. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys are next. Our cutting skills are so good, we can cut these trees down in two chops now. And we just leveled it up even again, so two trees at once, no problem. I can't wait to put the pigs in my mouth. Now we have a bigger, better spear that we're still going to use like a hammer. We get a lot of meat from these things. This is much better. Don't worry, this is completely sustainable farming. There's lots of these left. Definitely going to need to get my skills up a little bit. We're going through so much energy by murdering these things. But I think we're actually at the point where we one-shot them, so that helps out. Do we have enough to move on to a new island with new adventures? We just never have enough stones. They're just not as fun to mine. 
Now we're getting somewhere. There's all sorts of things on this island. Ooh, including bigger boars. Look at my clothes. I even have gloves and everything. I look like a serial killer. Not that I know what one of those looks like. I have so much wood, but no rocks because trees are so much more fun to cut down. Not even allowed to cut these ones down. Now we actually have to exercise our brain. But we do have giant crystals and those are probably a little bit more valuable. So the first new tool we're going to make is going to be anything we can afford, a new axe. Probably for these new trees, and I am really good at chopping things down, so even these new trees are getting absolutely destroyed. Look at them, taunting Aww. me. As soon as I make a better spear, you're all dead. I'm gonna make shoes out of those things. I think it's time for a new pickaxe as well. Now we can mine the gems. And I intend to mine these things. That's gonna put our mining skill way up. And I think it's time we make a new cooking pot so we can eat the boars. We get to build a sawmill to further saw our wood that's already cut into boards. I like where this is going. We got the rest of the pieces for that, and uh, we can refine our old wood into better wood. Not sure why we want to do that yet, but I'm happy to wait. Also, I think it's time we make the better spear, which is even more dangerous. Now I can turn these into food. Only two hits and they're done. Best part is they don't even fight back. They've accepted their fate. Didn't see this before. Uh, I feel like this is going to do the same thing and turn other wood into other wood. I think I probably have to go all the way through and then refine those, if I'm understanding that correctly. Luckily, the trees on this island grow at an alarming rate, so they're ripe for exploitation and turning into lumber. Unlike you, you're just food. We've sought enough boards to make whatever this thing is. Now we gotta recycle our way back up to the top, waiting for things to change. I've also unlocked some kind of barbecue, so we'll go ahead and make that right away. Uh, after we smelt presumably a bunch of the blue things. That's fine, I've got time. We'll just let everything make its way to its final resource. But we're going to get exactly 10 of those that we need to make whatever this is, so that's got to be worth it. Recycler, so now we're upgrading our meat. And ultimately we turn the meat into meat on a stick. That is our great technological innovation. Does the meat on a stick do anything? If I was meat on a stick, where would I want to go? Probably through these. Kinda wish I knew there was a functional house here, and this person, they want meat. Oh, we can hire them. Oh, we gotta feed them meat. Your sacrifice is appreciated. Okay, put this meat in your mouth and get to work. Okay, there's several of them. Oh, look at the size of a boat we're going to make though here. We're also going to hire you. I'm not really sure what you do, but get to work. But full disclosure, if it was up to me, I would absolutely murder you and take your house. Just got to wait for these to do their thing and then we'll be able to make the biggest boat yet. Not really sure where my helpers went. Not really sure I care. We're leaving them behind. And that's the tale of how we made a boat so big that it broke reality and reset us right back to the beginning where we're a naked man wearing a leaf which is exactly where I want to be.